as these things come around. But I mean, it's okay. It's good to have I, you look, back. I, I had to move my entire setup yesterday. I, I apologize for the uh, for the inconvenience. But either way, no going to be given out for this one. We're going to see Esam going up against Wadi. So obviously a couple, a uh, little bit of experience on uh, both of these players and each other. But yeah, Esam and Wadi. It's, it's like we're right back at glitch, man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do pandas, like, fight each other? Like, is that... They don't ever fight each other in the enclosures, right? They're herbivores. So they, don't, they never, like, go... Do they fight over, like, bamboo? Because right now we got you know, ourselves a panda global team kill. Yeah, it'd be like that, though. We got Esam, and we got Wadi going up against each other right here. This is going to be an interesting one, because Rob is a character that's so often complained about. Some characters don't always have the best of counterplay versus the, ro the, ro for the robot himself, but Esam on the other end of that spectrum. It's a small rat with insane combos on a very big body, so once he's able to get in, which for a character like him with immense mobility, it shouldn't be too, too hard of a problem going up against Rob here, but Rob has got those insane gyro tools to be able to keep Pikachu his way as well. But right there, I really like what Esam does right there in terms of the instant mash out of the berry, because that is something that uh, some heavier characters would have a harder time with. I do believe those berries function sort of the same way as grabs, in the sense that the heavier of a character that you are, the less time that you have to follow up out of a throw. So Pikachu, being the light character that he is, might have some easier times, but he will be dying to those up throws and down throw setups just a little bit earlier, of course. I mean, Pikachu's a little rat, man. He's just super elusive, so... I mean, Rob's got some big rotors, but he also has a big body, so getting caught in that lightning. Yeah, exactly. It's like Rob, like, is... He, some people consider Rob the best character in the game, specifically on Wi-Fi. They do. And if you play against a character that doesn't know how to keep Rob in disadvantage forever, you know, some might actually... some might agree with that sentiment. Pikachu, of course, is one of those characters, of course. He does, like, pretty much every... He, he, he can... he's like sort of a jack-of-all-trades, except every jack was bumped up, like, 30 notches with how good he is in this game, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's been playing for a really long time, man. I think people forget about that. Some of these players, like, Esam's in, I don't know, he's, he's been around since Melee, at Brawl at the very least, right? I mean, he's very, very seasoned. Uh, lots of big experiences. I mean, Wadi also right in that ballpark. Finally finding a little bit of leg room here, uh, although not after a lot of damage first. Yeah, drag down neutral air, though. That's one of the amazing things that, you know, Pikachu didn't have in prior games. I mean, Esam's been around since Brawl, so there's no doubting this guy's skill. And Pikachu has always been an insanely solid character. But he did not have that old neutral air in the old game. And Rob did have that forward air in prior Smash games. But it wasn't as patented and potent as it is in this game, man. Four to the face over and over again to take out the yellow rat. My god. What a combo. That's the exact situation oh, where, man. like, so many, like, Rob players would have loved to just immediately do an arm rotor. Maybe he didn't want to risk anything offstage against Pikachu because of how amazing his offstage presence is and how Rob's recovery is kind of exploitable to a character like him. But still, that is... I... I've never seen Rob's forward air kill at that percent, but he was pretty close to the blast zone, Chris, so... He got me. Rob's sort of like a, a master of, of that sort of thing, where he could take you out in the blast zone. He's got a lot of a lot of uh, juice in those in those jet boosters he's got. So whether it be a forward air or arm road or whatever the case is, there's a lot of ways he kind of take you out there. I mean, I haven't really seen him kill with fair either, but uh, we might not see Rob's fair killing. In fact, we might see if Esam's able to find something here. Does have Wadi in a little bit of a precarious spot, and there's the fair. Sure enough, is going to be. You? the kill move what do you do man <laughs> you die i guess i mean the <laughs> only thing i could have thought of in that situation was in between the thunder jolts for wadi to do something crazy and committal drop ledge double jump side b arm rotor back onto the level to reflect those back into him and to get pikachu off of him because other than that he stays by the ledge he's got no hitbox on his recovery so he's going to eat those thunder jolts over and over <laughs> again as we take a look at this my god this looking like simplicity sheesh, yeah simplicity my friend it is such a treasure in life and rob brings that simplicity out in spades with the stuff this character can do but right there the forward air covering that double jump what is a what's a robot to do 
I don't know, dude. I mean, robots do short out whenever you uh, shock them with anything. So I don't know, dude. This might just be one of those cases of, of Pikachu's a really good character, right? So yeah. Look, all I'm saying is I got a 3070 in here. If no Pikachu comes up in my room, and they they tries to do like some BS like that, oh, that rat's getting punched. Yeah, dude. I, I good luck. It's just gonna pancake everything, every swing it takes. <laughs> so. <laughs> I would be like bottom tier, bro. I'd be like laggy. My moves wouldn't be that strong. Yeah, I, I'd have I, range. I'd have range. I'm six foot five, so at the very least, I'd have that to me. Be a little bit of a distance demon, but it's ultimate. So this game has min min. No topping distance demons when it comes to that. But hey, that is Esam up one game over Wadi Rob right now with the Rob. Happy to see him playing Rob personally. Wadi is like, I don't. How do I put this? He's like kind of addicted. To bad characters, he played Rob a lot. Oh, I see. In Smash yeah. 4. Mewtwo was when was a character. Mewtwo was ten mm -hmm. times better and started to play Rob a lot towards the end of that game. This game comes around. Mewtwo's kind of booty, and now Rob is one of the best characters in the game. And at the beginning of this game, throughout like the first half of it, before he started making his resurgence in Wi-Fi, he he was tweeting it all the time too. He was like. I just really like Mewtwo. I really just like connect with him. I just want to ah, play Mewtwo, and I was like, shame, "Oh, dude. He, he just, just play Rob, dude." Come well, on. The, well, the worst part is because Mewtwo has like some pretty cool stuff going on, you know. Uh, yeah. He's definitely got some sauce and, and and things where you're just like, oh, "Okay, yeah, this is kind of a character, I guess." And then like, then his tail is there, and it gets hit <laughs> by everything, so it kind of makes him unusable. And he's also really light, so if you're getting hit by everything and you're also really light, it kind of makes you unusable. Rob is that you might be getting hit by everything, but at least he's not flying, you know. It not flying to his death at like mid percent, so that, yeah. at, at the very least there is that. And I do believe we are going to see be seeing a stage switch. I don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere because they're both out of the arena for a moment. Mhm. Mm Unless they just spent all that time and we're going right back to nope, not the case. Nice. All right, beautiful. Sometimes that happens. It does. Sometimes there's just a long thought process where people think about that kind of stuff. Definitely go back to Chew That's old bods, where he took five minutes to counterpick right back to the same stage. <laughs> Give you a little bit of Smash history for you right there, back at the old Xanadu place. Speaking of which, hello VG Bootcamp. If you're watching this in the future for these vods, happy to be here. Thank you for accepting the vods from King 2021. Esam and Wadi game number two right here. The Panda Global Team kill, as we mentioned before. Got him off stage, which is just the worst place for a oh, Robert yeah. the Robot to be, my friend. That is why this matchup is can honestly not be that good. Pikachu just really exploits Rob off of the level, man. There's no hitbox or invincibility on that recovery, Chris. Well, you know, easy pickings. And to this, I mean, Rob is usually a character relatively safe. Uh, when he's off stage and just has all kinds of ways of getting back a lot of mobility with the back air and, and being able to short the um, the jetpacks a bit but Pikachu is also really good off stage and does have a lot of very active hitboxes and, and a lot of just like repeating hitboxes so that luxury that Rob has is immediately kind of rendered useless when you have Pikachu out and we're, we're seeing Esam exploit that a little bit. For sure, for sure. You know, tiny character, hard to hit. Big character, easy to hit. Insane mobility on this front. What I want to see from Rob is that I want to see him... I want to see Wadi try to shut down the neutral a little bit more against Esam. As difficult as that is to do, side B arm road are going to take the stock there off the side. As difficult as that is to do, he, I want to see him to find some way to just intercept Pikachu with these gyros a little bit more, you know? As amazing as that up B and neutral is for Pikachu, you can hit him out of that, and the gyro is sort of a lingering hitbox that Rob can easily spam if it gets cancelled by the shield. So, if it doesn't and Pikachu commits to something like an up B in neutral, it's a hard thing for a lot of characters to punish, but if Rob keeps his distance, he might actually have an easier time with that, but... This ain't no, this ain't no, like, basic bread and butter Pikachu we're talking about. This is e yeah, this is essentially mastered the character at this point. This is probably the best, uh... Pikachu you're ever going to see, and the thing about Rob is like, as much distance, or really any character against Pikachu, as that down smash takes that second stock, is you can, you know, you can try to range as much as you want, and even throw projectiles out, but with quick attack, and just okay, oh! Forget everything I was just saying, but what I was going to say, is uh, quick, just having quick attack and access to just some of the mobility stuff that Pikachu has, it's hard to keep your range. That hardly even looked like the spike hitbox. That had to be at, like, the very, very top of the spike hitbox for Rob's down air right there. And speaking of- <gasps> Speaking of down airs! Pikachu going underneath the level to try to snipe this Rob. Stage spike him directly off the bottom of the level. Nothing doing. If you spend that much time off the stage, you better know how to tech Wadi. And of course he does. But as I say that, we're back in the neutral right now. Pikachu Thunder Jolton giving the big body Rob a little bit of a hard time on the way in. This mobility 
It's just so difficult for a Rob to keep up with Chris. This is Oba right here. Oh, that was actually pretty close, man. I mean, that, could, yeah. that was frames away from being game. Uh, but now, instead, we're in a position where we might be seeing a 2-0. Um, it's only going to tell if... I mean, there's a lot of ways Rob can sort of steal a game here, but he's going to have to find at least a hit first in order to get in that position because it looks like Isam is not letting up at all, feeling very confident, throwing out the little hits here and there, and I don't really think Wadi knows what to do at the moment. Yeah, it's just very scary because if he gets Pikachu in an exploitable position off the level to hit him with the arm rotor to begin with, which would kill Pikachu at this percent, if he misses, it's like that's you're off the level against Pikachu, man. It's like honestly like... What is that movie? It's like the usual suspects, man. Like Kaiser Sose. How do you shoot the devil in the back? What if you miss? Yeah, you know man. what I mean? That's Pikachu, the devil. And that devil is going to advance 2-0 up into winner's finals. Guaranteed for Esam. 2-0 over Wadi. Panda Global Team kill, unfortunately. But Esam, as probably seeded, going up over Wadi Rob here into the winner's finals, man. The greatest Pikachu to ever touch the character out here showing you what he does best on a daily basis. This play was nutty, man. I swear to God, that drag down neutral air just sets up into so many crazy situations for Pikachu, man, as you know. Like right there, it's getting the basic tiny narrow hit of the back air right there. That's all Pikachu needs are those tiny, tiny little hits out of any of his multi-hit aerials. And I do mean any of them. He's got one, two, three. Three multi-hits in those aerials that can drag down and confirm into one of his smash attacks. That is nutty, to say the least, my friends. Yeah, man. It, it, I mean, good set overall. I, I just think Esam uh, just looking so strong right now. And, and honestly, dude, probably probably a shoe in to, to win today, honestly. He's going to be playing against Myron later. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't really know what kind of Wi-Fi results Myron has. But I know Esam has been on the grind quite a bit and playing very well these days. So only time will tell. But there are still a lot of heavy hitters left in bracket, too. Yeah, I feel like Esam enters a little more 